Next question. What is the composite design pattern? So the composite design pattern is also a structural design pattern. It's related to how you structure your components. So the composite allows you to compose objects through a unified interface. So clients can treat the whole composite as one, even though behind right. the scenes, you may have a bunch of objects collaborating. Exactly. So the composite pattern makes heavy use of polymorphism, which allows you basically to create these tree-like structures, which with each node having the same interface. Yes, because the composite shares the same interface as the objects it composes, which means you can compose composites as well and create a tree structure of your object graph. Exactly. And if you do so, th this thing can scale infinitely, right? Because you never know, like you can have a composite for uh, uh, a reference, which can have another composite for a reference, and this thing can grow infinitely. Exactly. And just like the adapter pattern, the composite pattern allows you to create open closed systems. So you can add new features without changing clients, without changing code. You just compose your system differently to get different behaviors. For example, imagine you want to load some data from a remote source, but if it fails, you want to show some cached version of the data. And fetching data from remote can fail for multiple reasons. For example, you may have no network connectivity. Right. But you cannot check for network connectivity before performing a request. It's not reliable. The only reliable way to know if you have connectivity with the server or not is to actually perform the request and check if you got a connectivity error back. But if you check if you have connectivity before making a request, Apple documentation, they say, don't do that. Yeah, they say it. Don't. It's not reliable. The only reliable way is to perform the request and check the result. If you block a request because you think there's no internet connection, you might be blocking the client from actually making the request. So this logic of trying to load from remote, if the request fails, then look at the cache, can be implemented as a composite. So instead of having if else everywhere in your code base, you can create a composite that starts with a primary data source that can be the remote mm -hmm. and a fallback data source that can be the cache. That's it. So it's going to try to fetch it from the primary source. If it fails, it's going to load it from the cache. And you can just compose this into the composite and pass to the clients. The clients don't need to know about the remote. The clients don't need to know about the cache. The clients don't need to know about the composite. They only talk to the polymorphic interface that hides all those details. The same polymorphic interface that the composite, the remote data source, and the cache data source share, which could be a simple function, load. You can even go one step further and scale your composition by providing another composite for the fallback strategy when you're loading from the cache. Mm -hmm. You can say, okay, now I'm loading from the cache as the fallback, but now I have a new strategy. So first, I want to check if I have an in-memory cache, for example, before I hit the store, the persistent store. Right. So you're composing composites. You're composing composites. And that's that's it, what we said in the beginning that of this question, that this thing can scale infinitely. You can, you can compose other composites mm -hmm. Infinitely. That's it. You just added a new feature, this in-memory cache lookup before making a file system request, which can be slow. And you didn't have to change any other part of your system, just the composition, just the composition root. Thus, you have an open closed system. Yes. You can add this new behavior, the in-memory caching, without changing any of your components. You don't need to change the composite. You don't need to change the remote data source, you don't need to change the persistent cache, you don't need to change the client, you just add a new behavior and you inject it in the composition root. That's it, total modularity, total freedom. That's it, that's the composite pattern.